Today is an important day because we're going to learn about a particular use for binary trees. We're going to learn about binary search trees. But before we get to binary search tree, I wanted to motivate you as to why we need these things. And to understand why we need them, we're going to look at why arrays can't quite do the job that we're looking for. What is the job we're looking for? We want to create a database. We want to store information in the database and we want to be able to retrieve the information later quickly. That's our goal. So the three things you typically do with a database is you want to find stuff that you've stored before, you want to add new stuff to the database, and you want to delete or remove stuff that is already in the database. Those are the three typical functions you have. And just from what you learned in CSA, you know that arrays or array lists can be used for that purpose. And we can store the array one of two different ways. We can store it unsorted or we can store it sorted. And what I'd like to do today is I'd like to walk through the big O's of these six uh, operations to have you understand where the strengths and weaknesses are of arrays and whether they're sorted or unsorted. What does that do to the efficiencies? And then I'll show you how BST will be great right across the board here and will beat the array implementation. Okay, so let's take a look at an array. So here's an array and we're going to have some slots in here. And let's say that these are filled with data and that this one is the next empty one. And I have some pointer here, I'll call it P, which just basically contains an index telling me what the next free slot is. Similar to what we did when we built our own stack. You remember that, right? We kept track of okay, these are used and these are empty, so I just need a number here. So here, if these numbers were like this, P here would be 3, telling me that the next available index for uh, loading something would be uh, index number 3. So now, if we have an unsorted array, unsorted array, imagine that the data here are completely unsorted, and we're looking for a particular piece of data. How long is that going to take? What's the algorithm going to be, and what's the big O going to be here? If we have an unsorted array, what's the name of the algorithm we're going to use to search it for look for something? Mr. F, sorry? Linear search. Linear search, sir. And what would be the big O of that linear search? Okay, so here you can see it's going to be O of N. Now, what about insertion? Now, give you some hints on insertion. We're keeping tabs of what the next empty cell is. How much time is it going to take for us to do an insertion? Miss Olivia? Okay. Okay. That's true. If we uh, run out of space, we're going to have to copy this over. That is very true. Uh, we're not going to worry about that today, but that's definitely an issue. And now, uh, what if we want to delete an item? So deleting an item has two parts to it. It has, we've got to find it where it is, and then we have to delete it. Now, I want to discuss the actual deletion process. Let's say that I've agreed that I'm going to, let's say I've agreed that I'm going to delete this element right here. Okay, I'm going to delete that element. I can take this element, which is the last element, and copy it in here and move this pointer back by one. You see that, right? So the actual deletion process, the process that I just described, how, what kind of big O will that take? If to, let's say I, I, I know that this is the one I want to delete, so I delete it and move this one over. What would that be, sir? Okay. That would be O of K. You see that, right? But I have to first find it, right? I have to first find what I'm looking for. How much is that part going to take? Yes, miss? O of N. It's going to take O of N. So this deletion process has two parts, the O of N to find it, and then O of K to do the manual deletion like I described. So what would be the big O of that co combination there, Mr. Schulson? Now I would like you to take a few minutes and chat with your partner about what this second row should be. No. All right, let's see how well you remember your bisection search or binary search from CSP or CSA. First question is, how long will it take for me to find an item if the array is already sorted? Mr. Nikita, I, you're the, in a unique position, sir, because you didn't take CSA. So just to check your knowledge, sir, any idea how long this would take? So we agree then that it's going to be a log function. You may be tempted to put the base 2 here, but remember for big O, there is no base on the logarithm. It's every base, right? And now we want to insert a new item. So imagine we have it here. 
the insertion is a two-step process. We need to figure out the index, where we're going to insert it, and then the actual insertion process. How long will it take to figure out where to insert it? How long will that take? Mr. Orispayev? So I want to find where to insert. So what process am I going to do to do that, sir? Um, Would I do a linear search for that? Do binary. Do binary, bisection search, binary, yeah. So how long would that be? Oh, that'd be log n. Okay, that, so to find the index would be O of log n. Mr. Basu, once I find, okay, I need to figure out, okay, I'm going to put it in there. What do, I, what do I do now, sir, now that I know that 2 is the right index for my insertion? The insertion might be O of k, but then I have some leftover work to do. What else would I have to do here, sir? So imagine I need to put this, let's say I need to put a y right between these two x's here. What's going to happen to the array now? I have to move everything over to the right ones. How long is that going to take? So what would be the total big O of the insertion process here for a sorted array? Yes, miss? O of n here. And likewise, the delete is extremely similar. It's going to take me how long to find it and how long to do the deletion. Yes, Mr. Franovic, how long to find it, sir? Why? Find it, I do the bisection search. To delete it, you have to delete it and then you have to move everything else. And to delete it, I have to shift everything over to the left. So once again, this is going to be O of N, like that. And the reason why, and, and these are the troublemakers here that we're not happy with. The reason why these things exist is that we are limited to a linear structure here with the array. It's linear. We can do much better if we move to a two-dimensional structure, and that's what we're going to talk about today with this binary search tree. And our goal today is to get to this level of performance. That's what we want. That's a huge improvement in the performance. Try to understand that, okay? Logarithms, they, they grow very, very slowly. They grow very slowly. And so that's a big, big improvement in the performance. So we're going to talk a little bit today about binary search trees.